Hey folks, today I'm going to show you how to fix the internal uh, red laser, preview laser that's in these systems if it gets knocked out of uh, alignment. Um, I'm, now to be clear, I'm not talking about the little alignment, the little focus lasers here on the outside. I mean the internal red laser that's used for previews in alignment. This is a 20 watt fiber laser from Monport Lasers. I got it for work uh, as a review unit but I like it so much, I think I'm gonna buy it. Uh, I had to move it in a hurry last week because there was a possible flood coming into my workshop and it got bumped and my internal laser got way out of alignment. I'll, you'll see what I mean, like it's way out, way further than just software would update. So I'm gonna show you, uh, I, I couldn't find a lot of videos on it, so I'm gonna show you how to adjust that internal red preview laser to get it close enough that then you can go into software and realign it. Be sure to let me know uh, what laser stuff you'd like to see. Since I think I'm buying this, uh, I'm gonna do some cool laser stuff. Safety first, folks. Make sure that you do not have your main laser on. You'll see here that the actual fiber laser is disabled on my machine right now. And don't look directly into the red laser, even though it's a very low power laser. I mean, just don't look at lasers, right? Uh, wear glasses, all right. Okay, I have a copper plate down here for protection so I can see it. You see I have two circles here. Uh, in the software I only have one circle uh, that I am previewing here. One circle. Uh, the two circles mean that that beam is being split. It's hitting something on the edge of a mirror and it's being split. Not only that, if I were to cut this you would see that it would actually engrave kind of in between those. Uh, so to check and make sure that's what's happening we will pop off this lens and look up in there and we'll actually be able to see it. Okay, I have the lens removed. Let's look up in there. Let's see if I can get it. And sure enough, we can see right there. The laser is coming um, through that hole on the, on the side of the screen there, through this hole up here. And it's hitting the edge of the mirror there. Notice I'm not touching these. It looks like I'm really close because of the way the camera is, but I'm not actually touching those. Don't touch that stuff. It's very delicate, but you can see it's way off focus or way off center, so I have to adjust the internal mirror. Uh, I'm gonna put the lens back on so that nothing gets in there and nothing gets inside my lens, and then I will adjust it. The easiest way to get this cover off is by removing this back plate. You don't even have to remove it all the way, you just need to be able to pop it back a little bit to get this out of the groove. Okay, see four screws removed just a little bit. You don't even have to take them out all the way. To pop that out, pop that cover off. Here's your red laser. The four larger screws really hold it in place. The tinier screws help adjust the angle. So then you need to adjust your angle using those tiny screws and then seal it all back up. Okay, now that it's all um, out of place, what I want to show you is how these work. For example, loosening this one, or sorry, tightening this one, pushes it further down in there, which should push the laser backwards. Okay, pretty clear. This is all tightened up up here. And now you will have to go into your software and readjust um, the alignment because it's going to probably be out of alignment again, but that's in the software. Just to make sure you fully understand, because I did gloss over it, these large screws hold it down tight. These tiny ones, you'll notice there are three, are for adjusting the angle. You tighten the front one, it lowers, it lifts it up. You loosen it, you tighten the back ones, it lifts them up. So you use those three to adjust the angle and then tighten the big ones down to hold it in place. Then just reassemble it the same way you disassembled it, in the reverse order. So that's how you uh, adjust your internal red light laser, the in internal one, not the external one. This laser here is a 20 watt fiber laser from Monport Lasers. I'll put a link to it down in the description below. Um, 
I got this as a review unit for work and I like it so much, I think I'm gonna buy it. Uh, so I had to fix that uh, after a bump and I'm excited to play with it. Uh, stay tuned for more laser stuff.